What is going on guys? Dayton here, aka Dr. R Flower, checking back in the garden. Welcome back to the channel guys. So today's episode we're going to get into training autoflowers. So I normally wait around till about week two or week three before I start training autoflowers. Week two you normally can only do LSTing, which is tying down your plant. Week three you can start doing leaf tucking, tying down your plant and doing some lollipop and cleaning up the below. So that's what we're going to get into today. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And what this does is open up these bud sites down here and it lets it grow up and it's a more stress-free way to get your bottom branches to grow up and kind of make a bush make a nice more even canopy once it's all done its uh, vegetative growth right now they're all showing sacks and we're getting into the more growth spurt where they're really starting to take off more and this is really now the time we want our bottom branches to start uh, growing up and kind of getting the same level as this top uh, stem here this top cola and we want it all nice and even because then all these branches will get the same amount of light at their tops too and produce way better buds. Now some people do topping, some people do super cropping. I would always recommend if you do want to get into this stuff with autoflowers, I would recommend high stress training you do after some experience, you know what you're doing. If you're new to it, I would highly recommend only sticking to LSTing. I find it's just the easiest and stress free way. Uh, you're not gonna you're not going to stunt your plants doing this and it's just easier on them. And again with autoflowers you want to be as stress free as possible. The less stress they have the less it's going to affect their growth periods. And it'll help grow the plant bigger and produce better bigger buds. What is up guys welcome back to the autoflower garden here. We are checking on these girls and we are just past week three and we got sex showing we got some really nice vigorous growth coming in with these girls this one's a bit of a run but we're just gonna let it do its thing sometimes these runs can be the dankest of the dank i found that out a couple times so i'm just gonna let it go uh but these other girls are looking really nice big we got some shoots coming up and i think it's time to start doing some low stress training with these girls because uh looks like they are getting to that point they're getting a little lanky we're getting some side branching coming out here and they're kind of getting blocked by these leaves. So we're gonna wanna start doing some leaf tucking here. All these uh, lower branches we want to get some light. And this top here, I think I'm gonna go tie it down like this. I'm using air pots here so I can actually just tie to these uh, holes in the side there. And I'll just tie it down like that. And I'll really just start going through and doing some bending with these girls, not not like super cropping but just slowly bending it over like that just very lightly training and every day i'll start doing that here and there tie them down too and we'll train these side branches too to kind of go where we want get more light do some leaf tucking tuck these leaves over here and this is always like my favorite way of training with autoflowers just being really gentle uh, you don't want to do any snapping or pinching and stuff uh, they don't really like that I think we will want to do some lollipopping here which is clearing up this bottom stuff this bottom uh, larf producing uh, area we don't really want uh, this producing anymore we want this all to be taken out and I'm pretty sure these side branches here will grow up a lot more so we'll leave those but these really tiny ones down here we'll take them off like this guy here he's not really gonna grow that much some of these side shoots we don't really want buds forming on these at the bottom just at the very top so we'll take some of these out take a couple of these bottom leaves that are just hanging in the dirt and these little shoots here, little sucker shoots, we want to take those out. We're going to take these little bud sites out here too, so buds don't start forming in these lower areas. Take the sucker out here, take some of these bud sites here. We don't want those producing larf. And there we go, this part's all nice and cleaned up now. Same here, this won't be producing any buds, we just want if it's this lower branch here, we want only the very top to produce buds. So like I was shown before, leaf tucking is usually my first go-to training method. With all the flowers, just tuck them under there. 
And these uh, side chutes are all getting more light now. They're not getting blocked by these big fan leaves because if they're just like hanging over like this, they're kind of blocking everything below. Same here, tuck all these in. See this leaf here is blocking this chute here. So we'll just tuck that right under there. And that'll help produce more light. Tuck this one under there. Tuck that under there. go very nice now all these side branches will get more light we'll probably tie this one down like this and then this one will get a lot more light all right so I'm gonna tie these girls down I got my piece of string here and I just got a nice decent length and what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie them down and just go through these holes here so I want to put this girl down on this side here so I'm going to wrap my string around it and go to the third, I guess, node down. And that's where I'll tie it down here. The rest of the branches we kind of want to push to go over on the other side. This one we're just going to thread it through these holes here of the air pot. And we're just going to tie it down like this. Some nice gentle LST. Low stress training is what that stands for. And we want it about the level of the next internode. So as you can see here, the level of the next internode's here. We want it to be pretty much the same height. And then by tomorrow, this will start growing up and producing shoots going upwards. And there we go, this one's all done. These are all produce nice new canopy here and it'll be a lot more even. Now we're gonna do this one. We're gonna look on the branches here, which branch is probably the smallest and which side it will take up the least amount of area. And it looks like this side is the best area. So we're gonna tie it down like this on this one. Push these branches upward more away from it. And that's also a little form of low stress training, just like just gently bending it like this, bending the branch a little bit over. You're not pinching it, you're not super cropping it. You're just kind of bending it over. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it down like this and match this internode down here. Okay, we're gonna just pull it down a little bit, just tie a little knot down here. That is how I like to do my LST. And uh, again, we'll just go through, bend these other branches forward a bit. Make sure these leaves are tucked in nicely so it's not blocking anything below. And this will all form a nice new canopy. And there we go guys, all three are now done. And uh, always helpful to have a nice even canopy so the light can all hit it nice and evenly. Give it all the same par. <coughs> All right, here we go, guys. Check it out a little up and close and personal here with these girls. Show you what we did. Push these branches up like that. Tuck these leaves in. And in the next two, two and a half weeks, we'll see a lot more growth. These three will all turn into really nice bushes. Uh, what we're gonna do now is probably do a feeding here. I'm guessing tomorrow, well, maybe a day or two. Uh, I always will go in, pick them up, and I know the feeling of completely light pots. These are, you know, they got some moisture left. We don't want to overwater them. We want the soilless mix to kind of dry out a bit for like a day. And if we see them just on the verge of starting to droop, that is usually the best time to give a nice big watering and completely saturate the whole pods again with a little bit of runoff but it looks like right now we can go another day maybe two but yeah in the next two two and a half weeks we're gonna see some really nice vigorous growth it's been getting vigorous in the last week but in the next two weeks it'll be the most vigorous and we'll start seeing a lot more bud development start happening and uh yeah exciting times so we're probably going to take these girls to week uh, nine, nine and a half, maybe ten. That's usually what I like to take them to and when I get a nice percentage of amber trichromes, always good to check your trichromes on your buds uh, to make sure you know when is the best time to harvest. I like mine a little bit more couch lock style. Some autoflowers are really good for, with helping pain relief and helping with sleep, so I kind of wanted more couch lock to have that, you know, 
that uh, tired, uh, really stoned effect. So that is really good for that. So yeah, that is pretty much all the training we're gonna do today. We did the leaf tucking, we did the LSTing on just the main uh, cola here. But you could, if it was a bigger plant with more to tie down, you could actually tie down these other branches too if you needed. Uh, right now it's definitely not really needed for these plants. If it's a bit more of a bushy plant, you could do that. And of course, clean up the bottoms there, do a little bit of lollipopping. We don't want life growing down there. These are the techniques I highly recommend for growing autoflowers. Hope this guide kind of helps you out if you guys are new to this. And uh, stay tuned for more to come on these autoflowers. We've got about six more weeks of growth with these girls. Make sure you tune in for more updates on this grow. And uh, it should be some really dank autoflowers. So stay tuned guys. Thank you all for watching this video guys. And until next time, peace out and catch you guys later.